everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to finger knit a scarf. You can use whatever yarn you have, any color, any thickness. I recommend thicker yarn, not thin. But again, you don't have to use the same yarn I have. It can be curly, it can be straight, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is teach you how to finger knit, which is really easy. If you already know how to finger knit, just skip this part and watch the next part. But anyways... You're gonna tie a knot that's bigger than your finger. And then your palm is gonna face your face and this is gonna go on your pointer finger. Then you're gonna wrap these around your other fingers like back and forth. So do you see how it goes? One goes under and then it goes over. Under, over, under, over. And then this original piece strain that you loved extra is going to stay here. But anyways, you're going to get this piece, pull it over. Bottom piece always pulls over. The top piece doesn't pull over because then you just mess up. And this time you only have to do it once because you have to have it two, like two, but you don't want three, so you only do it once. Then you pull bottom one over, bottom one over, bottom one over. Then you're going to pull the original strain and then you're just going to keep on doing that. You're going to want to do this for a while because um, you want to make it really long. But if you don't want to make it that long, you can make like a shorter, thinner scarf. But if you want a thick scarf, you should probably make it long. And anyways, you can kind of see how it looks like knitting. And it takes a while, but lucky for you, I've prepared one earlier. So then when you have a super long one, what you're going to do is you're going to unknot it if it's knotted. And then you're going to fold it in half. And so you just fold it in half one time. Then you fold it in half again. And you can fold it in half as many times as you want. It depends upon how long you want it. And then you fold it in half again. This is just what I want. But you can do whatever. I'm going to fold it in half one more time. See how that looks too short? You just unfold it once. So it's like this. Then there's one side that's gonna have all of these hoops. You're gonna hold that side open. And this other side is gonna pull through. And then if it has one of these, then just tuck it underneath. But you're gonna pull through and puff it up a little. It's super warm, super cozy. It looks store-bought, but you really made it with just your fingers and some old yarn. And if you run out of yarn and it's not long enough, all you have to do is make another knot like you did in the first place, put it over your finger, do it once, pull over, and it's just a two-tone two scarf. But it's super pretty. And it's super warm. You can make this for kids, grown-ups, boys, girls, whatever. Um, I really hope you like this. I really hope you do this. Please follow us. And always remember to stay creative. Thank you. Bye.